Hello, hello, hello. Today is Saturday, December 28, 2024. Here follow the solutions to problem 219. Only five people have all answers correct, which for me is disappointing. I use here Ulf Haller's solution, but I made some comments and I added a few things, which may help you. Kies Norman also sent me his solution, which I will also post now. It follows Ulf Haller's solution. Torque is I alpha, that is key. That is what many people do not have. I covered that in my lecture 21 of 801. The torque is obviously RT. T is the tension in the string. I is the moment of inertia of the disc. Alpha is angular acceleration of the disc, which is the omega dt. And the linear acceleration of m is r alpha. A divided by r is alpha. If the surface of the disc, the circumference, moves a distance ds, then the angular change is ds divided by r. You then take a few more derivatives and out pops immediately that a divided by r is alpha. You can see here on my drawing F equals MA, so MA is MG minus T. Tau is RT. To be precise, of course, torque is the cross product between the vector R and in this case the tension T. Since they are perpendicular to each other, the answer is that the torque, the magnitude of the torque is RT. So the rest is just simple high school math. You can read it and out pops the answer that A is 2mg divided by capital M plus 2m. Notice that it is independent of capital R, which is not so intuitive. Here follows Keith Norman's solution. So he wrote WL problem 219. The method used by Kies is covered extensively by Walter in 801 lecture 13. It involves first finding the total energy of the system and then taking the time derivative. The reason why I want to show this solution also, because it's very different from the solution that I just showed you, which is Haller's solution and which would be my own solution. So in my own solution and in Haller's solution, key is that the torque tau 
is I alpha that is not even used in the following solution. It exclusively de deals with energies. So he calculates kinetic energy of the disk, which is one half I omega square. And then he calculates the potential energy of M. The total energy of this system is a constant. Energy is conserved. And the total energy is the kinetic energy of capital M plus the kinetic energy of lowercase m plus the potential energy of m. m is the only one, little m, that moves in vertical direction. As you see here. He takes the derivative, as I also did when I covered this in one of my lectures at 801. You take the derivative and out pops immediately the correct answer. So, this clearly was the last problem in 2024. And Keith Orgen and I have decided to make the next problem, which will be in 2025, extremely easy. Because all three we are, frankly, disappointed with the fact that a simple Newtonian problem like this that only five people knew how to do that. So the first problem in 2024, in 2025, will be definitely a high school problem, which may boost your morale. For all of you, have a great year. 2025. And thank you, Kies and Eugen, for always doing the solutions for me, which saves me a lot of time. Even if you can't solve the problems, what always counts is we will be friends. That is the strongest conservation law in physics.